I taught a creature class at the Academy of Art, which is done, and I'm currently teaching a creature class at Animation Mentor. And the thing about creature classes is that a lot of the creatures and the rigs that you can get are very realistic. But a lot of the jobs out there are for cartoony styles. And there are not that many cartoony rigs out there. And one of the things that I recommend to my students is to add cartoony creatures onto your reel. Because if you look at the amount of movies that feature creatures, it's really something that you should take advantage of. But then I get the questions from the students, well, there are not that many cartoony rigs out there. There. Well, it's very easy. You take an existing rig, you add the eye rigs, you change the textures, and you're done. And this is where this clip comes into play. So let's go into Maya and I can show you how you can take any realistic looking creature rig and make it cartoony looking. And the example that I use was the Diablo rig by Truong. And that is this one. You can find it on the Animation Buffet site. I will have a link in the description. And the eyes that I used were these. So it's a combination of a rig and this, but you can grab any separate eye rig that you can find. You can also take eyes out of an existing rig, but I like this one because it has eyebrows as well. So now that you look at this creature, you can see a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool textures, but it's not very cartoony looking. So what do I do? You open up the textures and you can see what's in there. You can just assign new textures or you can also be clean and just delete whatever you have. If you do that, you can see that this happens to your rig. All the textures are gone, but that's okay. So in order to get this look, I'm gonna assign new colors. So I want one for the body. So let's just call this body and I'm gonna make it the same color like in my example, more or less. And I'm using a blend texture just because I want some shininess. I'm gonna use another one. And that one is gonna be the tongue. And this is off screen, but I'm going to the photo and then I'm picking out the color of the tongue. I'm going back and forth. And again, you can use this manually, but because I have this and I wanna replicate this, I'm gonna choose what I have. Then I'm also going to use a color for the nails. And you can always turn down the specular color and you can do whatever you wanna do here. So I'm gonna do nails and this is fairly white. Like in this case, I can just make this white and specular color also maybe bump that up a little bit. And then you have those little horns on top and on the tail, that's a different color. You can use again, whatever material you want. And I'm gonna go in there and pretty much pick up what I have. All right, so I'm gonna put these colors here. This is my dragon. And of course, if you keep the textures, it will be easier to see. If you feel like this is a problem, just select everything, assign the default Lambert, and you can see what's actually going on here. Oh, did not select all of them. So I want the body. I'm gonna select this and apply the body shader. Then I want the teeth. Now, sometimes you have geometry pieces and you can select them one by one. In this case, it's a bit tedious. So you can go into the outliner and see what's going on here. It's also a bit of a pain and you can also use a name selection. So I want to select everything, the star that has the name teeth and all those numbers. I can go in there and I'm gonna do star. I wanna select everything until the double colon and then T and then another star, which is gonna select everything. And again, you can see this, if you open down the outliner, it has only selected all those pieces and this by hand would be quite a pain. You can see this is the selection. So I also created a tooth shader, assign the material, go back and here we are. Now I wanna do the same thing with the nails, which are called horns here. So you can do star, double colon, horn, another star. And what you're gonna see that is gonna select all of this, right? I'm gonna go back in here, gonna select the nails like such, go back to textures and you can see this, but I do wanna give those horns on the top a different color. So I'm just gonna select all of these little horns, deselect this and you can see I have only deselected. So there are many ways how do you wanna select this through the naming or just direct say, uh, selection, say horns. And then there you go. And then last but not least, the tongue. Go back in there, select the tongue. There you go. So now you have these colors, more or less. I can go in there and give this a bit more of a lighter orangey color. But again, this is completely up to you. So basically, that's the rig. But as you can see, something is missing. The eyes, and that's the big thing. So just changing the colors is not gonna make this cartoony. It's gonna make it a bit more simpler looking. So now I'm gonna import those eyes. And then as you go down, let me collapse my outliner. You can see all, so that's the rig here. And you got the overall eye controller. I brought them up, but you have to do show nerves surfaces and put the textures on. And here are your eyes. <laughs> silly looking, but already kind of funny. I want the lids of the eyes to have the same color. So you can go back in here and you can find the eyelid mesh. Here's one and here's one. Go back in here and I'm gonna select the same body color. And there you go. So now what I would do, you can see all the options here in terms of scale, and then you can do the 
blinking of the eyes. I would now go in there and place them and you can do whatever you want to do with the size and placement like I said. Let's say we are happy with somewhat of this placement, right? Now what you can do, if you go back here and show the curves, you select the controller and besides the unibrow option if you want, you also have placement. Turn this on and you have extra controllers that show up and then you can place these again outside or a bit lower so i'm going to place these a bit to the outside maybe you want to keep where that ridge is here of this rig turn this off so it feels a bit low i will probably go just a bit higher and maybe a bit more like that so now that you placed it you got to find either a joint or a controller so in this case you can take this and this is your head controller there's nothing else underneath there's nothing where there's a sub controller select this Control select this, not the top note, but the controller of this eye and say constrain parent. And now, when you go back in there, you can just select the head. You can see everything moves with it. You can go to the root and you can see this is following. So now that you have that, you can do something where you can change the eyebrows. You can bring these just a bit lower to the face, open that mouth, change the head down a bit, take the controller, make it look somewhere else, grab the lower eyelids to kind of replicate what I did here to some degree. But there you go. I know it completely looks like you just added little eyeballs to a rig, but if you do something like this, where it's just a bit further away, all you can do now is concentrate on a cartoony pose. And it's all about the body mechanics that will still give you cartoony eyes and you can do some basic lip sync and caricature the movements. And it's all with a rig that now looks like this instead of this. And that's it. It's a simple thing again, this might be tricky if it's a close up, you can see those you know, added on eyeballs, but for a far away body mechanic shot where you can have a little bit of Muppet style lip sync, you can still go in there and do cartoony style animation where really, where you just take the movements, caricature them, stylize the movements, and concentrate more on a cartoony approach for creature animation. And just by changing the textures, adding those eyeballs or whatever eyes that you can find, you can tweak any realistic looking rig into something cartoony. There you go, nice and simple. I hope this works and I hope you can use this and create some cool new animation and speaking of which, if you want to do that with me and you want me to help you and then create something awesome, as always, I have workshops and the workshops are always open for sign up. Link in the description with all information. Just email me. You can start at any time. Speaking of time, if you're still watching this, thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. Feel free to hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notifications for all of my uploads. Other than that, I will say thank you and I'll see you in my next clip.